In today's video, we are going to talk about Ubuntu keyboard shortcuts. So let's see what shortcuts we can use into our Ubuntu in order to increase the usability of this Linux distribution. Well, the first command is Alt plus F2. Well, in case if you want to run a command directly without opening your terminal, we have a shortcut and that is you just need to press Alt plus F2 key. And here we have a command prompt or you can say here we have a text field in here we can write a command and we can execute it directly number two quickly switch between windows let me open some of the applications into my Linux distribution i'll open my files manager in here and in this workspace i'll open my terminal and now if i press my super plus tab key it will allow me to switch between different apps even if they are open into different workspaces number three alt plus escape well, this command will help you to switch between windows in the current workspaces. In this workspace, I only have my terminal open. Let me open my another application. Let's open our Mozilla Firefox or let's open our home directory. So let's open our Mozilla Firefox in here. So at the moment, I have two of my applications in my this workspace. And now if I press Alt plus Escape key, it will allow me to shift between the applications in a current workspace. Number four. Control plus Alt plus Tab. Well, this shortcut key will help you to give your keyboard focus on the top bar in the active overview. And it will allow you to switch keyboard focus between the top bar, dash, windows overview, application list, and search field. So now, if I just press here, Control plus Alt plus Tab, here you can see I have different options that I can go with. Let's go with the top bar. If I hit Enter now, or if I leave my keys, now the control of my keyboard is on the top bar as you can see it has just opened the activities of my ubuntu with the help of that command number five super plus a key well in case if you want to see all the applications into your system you just need to press super plus a key and it will open and show you all the applications that are available into your system number six super plus page up key well, this command will help you to switch between different workspaces. As I have two of workspaces available at the moment, now in case if you want to switch between these workspaces, you just need to press super key and then press page up and page down key. It will take you and it will help you to shift between different workspaces available. So as we had two, if I press page up one more time, it will allow me to open third one which was empty because we know if we are using two workspaces at the moment third one is there by default if we are using three of them the fourth one will be there by default so that is why we are having three workspaces with the help of this command number seven control plus alt plus delete well this command will help you to show you the power of dialog or power of option so if i just press here control plus alt plus delete here you can see it has given me the option to log out of my system. Number eight, super plus L key. Well, this command will lock your screen or will lock your Linux distribution. So if I just press here super key plus L, it will lock my Ubuntu. Here you can see my Ubuntu is locked at the moment. I will unlock it one more time and let's move ahead. Number nine, super plus V key. Well, this shortcut command will help you to see all the notifications that are available into your system. And now if I press super plus V key, it will open the notification box in front of me. And in case if you want to get out of this, just press escape key or again press super plus V key or just click anywhere on the screen and you will get out of this. Number 10, control plus alt plus T. Well, in case if you want to open your terminal without searching for it, you just need to press control plus alt plus T and it will open a terminal for you as you can see it has opened a new window for me i'll just close these two and again i'll use the same command so let's see if this opens or not and here you can see we have our terminal open in front of us so these are some of the shortcut keys that we can use but now i'll show you that you can have more shortcut keys and you can create your own one as well so i'll go to my settings or you can go to any settings of your system it will open the general setting of your ubuntu from here, go to your keyboards and here it says view and customize shortcuts. Just click on this one. From here, we have a lot of keyboards shortcuts that we can go with. I'll go with accessibility. Here it says decrease text size. Just click on it and from here set the shortcut for your system. 
I'll go with control plus minus key. And here it says set. I'll just click on set. And now if I press control plus minus key, it will decrease the text into my Ubuntu as you can see. I'll go back and I'll go with the default text size. And in case if you want to delete this shortcut, you just need to click on this cross sign and it has been disabled. Here it says increase text size. So for that, the shortcut you can set can be anything. I'll go with control plus plus key and it will increase the size of my fonts in my Ubuntu. So if I now press control plus plus key, here you can see it is increasing the size into my Ubuntu. I'll again go back to the default. So this is how you can work with your keyboard shortcut that are already available into your Ubuntu. So I'll go back. So in terms of launchers, navigation, screenshot, we have a lot of shortcuts that we can go with. As you can see in here, it says take a screenshot. For that, the shortcut is shift plus print. Go back and from here, you can have your custom shortcuts. Just click on it, click on add shortcut and you can create a shortcut in here. So these were some of the shortcuts and this is how you can have your shortcuts into your Ubuntu. And that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope now that you must have loved this one. If that is the case, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.